I include in the word different all how we could be distinct, be it in our words, in our thinking, in our behavior, in our outward appearance that does not somehow fit into a known box or a category. We humans are so uncomfortable with the unknown, the uncertainty that comes with it and the lack of control thereafter. Hence, for these reasons, being different, which is the unknown in the world, seems rather difficult. At a tender age, it can be excruciatingly challenging not belong to the known standards or the box as I say it. If somehow, if we look and act otherwise from our peers or what the current society has laid out, it can be extremely painful. I bore this burden when I was growing up as well. I remember the voice in my head going, why have I invented this form of cruel punishment for myself? Why I cannot be like the rest of them or at least try to think and act like the others? Why am I exposing myself for analysis or even to ridicule at times? But every single time, it was my heart that always won over my mind in such a discussion. Because if we observe the way the mind works, for example, if we are shown a triangle or a circle, we grasp what shape it is. But if we are introduced to a radically new shape that we have never seen before, our mind tries its best to categorize it and make it known. By the same design, we do the same with people. What we do not quite grasp, we tend to feel better by dismissing it or forcefully applying our known box or a category on it. It is the discomfort or the fear of not knowing that trumps all logic and sanity. So my friends, if you feel different or have the feeling of not fitting in anywhere, you're not alone. Do not give up. Let you be who you are. You are meant to exude who you are in the world. So break the walls, the box, the categories, the standards, the norms, the notions, until there is none to tie you down or even limit you. Allow your heart to guide you who you genuinely are in all of your mortal glory. I'll leave you with this quote by Antoine Toussaint Exupéry from the book Little Prince. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Thank you.